These two guys, I remember, I used to come to the Black Horse when I was 12, and these guys, <laughs> I've been in the game a long time and I'm really not that old, um, I started when I was 8, um, these guys were just, for me, top of the tree in those days, uh, there was nothing to beat them, and I, there hasn't been much to beat them since, and it, it's just wonderful to see them doing a bit together again, they haven't worked together for 15 years, and uh, Harp tells me also that they're going to release their album Fantasies from Corner Seat on CD and cassette in the summer. And they're going to sing songs from it this evening. There's not enough that I can say. You know it all. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Black Horse, Harvey Andrews and Graham Cooper. <laughs> Be 
been on a boat since the war took her back, but the pain never slowed her. She always ran with a smile.
Martin Peters of our time. And that. <laughs> we were ten years ahead of everything. I mean, that first song um, that we did, Targets, the opening verse, you'll read it now, they'll tell you how the lady is a leader. That was Thatcher. Um, and and um, I spotted her in 1972, 73, when she was Minister of State for Education. And I thought, hello. <coughs> hello, I thought. And I thought I'd write a song, you know, with Graham to sort of warn the world she was coming. <laughs> but they didn't listen, it served all bloody right. You know? <laughs> We, we were way ahead there, weren't we, Kim? Tell your galateriness. Oh, well, that's true. <laughs> and the thing is, on these songs, you see, I mean, people always ask, what, what, comes, what comes first, the words or the music? Well, with us, it was the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'd sit down, and, and Graham would sort of, he'd sort of fiddle about with the, with the piano or the guitar or something, and, and a melody would start to come out, and, and we'd been talking about something, and, and the little light bulb would go on. And, and, and we do it that way. And uh, so basically, the music is Graham's and, and the words are mine. That's how we used to do it, isn't it? And, uh, As I remember, it is a long time ago. It is, it's a very long We mustn't hark on this, dear boy. <laughs> Listen, I know how to play the sympathy vote ever. Well, that's true, yeah. yeah. I think we've aged quite well, really. Oh, you have your best. <laughs> say, why did you pack up? And it's because he's older than me. <laughs> I just got pissed off with it. <laughs> I love it when you talk dirty. <laughs> and again, I always did. Right, right, then. <laughs> this one is one of our prescient songs, I think, because we, we realise what was going to happen to one of our greatest institutions, which is the pub. And we put our finger on it, didn't we? Yeah. So this, this, is, this is a song about what, what they've done since. Well, you know what
Sadly, not a Catholic. Oh, we did, yeah, we're on the road. And I remember saying, can I find a verse in? And, and he let me, and I remember I wrote the verse on a serviette in this cafe. Do you remember? Yeah. And uh, so I've, I've only got one verse of this. The rest is the maestros. Pull the coats off. <laughs> now I can see the shirt, I see where he kept it on. <laughs> I didn't have the cheek to ask my host's wife to wear me a picking shirt at tea time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I forgot I was in the mirror. Do you for yourself? <laughs> no. I'm very impressed with you, Helen. <laughs> you were? I've seen you do it before. Oh, wouldn't oh, that was in the old days. You used to ask me to do it. I'm reconstructed now. <laughs> you what? I'm reconstructed. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's, it's not a facelift I need, mate. It's repointed. <laughs> I think I'll take another crack and sip whiskey jack Sneak another season on the road Miles are getting longer, days are growing dark I'm tired as the stories I have told The posters have my name in second billing Quickly when I leave the stage, carrying the lines the spotlight shows, and they always make me feel so down when they question with a frown. I know that face, and the kids all say that's Whiskey Jack in a voice that echoes like a smack across my face. The girls I knew were married and much wiser now. The numbers in my notebook never bring. Those who come to call leave just an empty glass. Empty eyes are all they seem to bring. And they always make me feel so down. When they question with a frown, I know that face. And the kids all say that's Whiskey Jack in a voice that echoes like a smack across my face. So I think I'll take just one more crack, said Whiskey Jack. Sneak another season on the road. Drag my fading daydreams through familiar towns Tell again the stories I had told La 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 Focus wouldn't close. 
they, they were voted the world's greatest band by Melody Maker that year, weren't they? We toured with them uh, in, in Britain and in Europe, and they wouldn't they wouldn't go out on tour without us in the end. And uh, and they said they said, well, we, yes, we, we, we were finished, we were finished. Hey, it's Islam is hardly angry. Can you go on before us? No, we saw things as much. And two, and two was all these twenty-five thousand people. Who were all <coughs> they were all out of their minds on something or other. <laughs> it being the seventies. And uh, and we went on and, and eleven o'clock at night following Steve Harley and Cockney Rebel. <laughs> <laughs> two guys nobody ever heard of with two acoustic guitars. And we were supposed to have a piano, but that was on the other stage over there for some unknown reason. And uh, we, we were supposed to do a half hour set. And we finished it in 17 minutes. <laughs> it's called adrenaline. <laughs> which is another word for fear. <laughs> I still have the plastic bottle of urine. Like <laughs> and the most interesting thing, was there was a couple having it off in front of us. <laughs> really? I don't, I don't know if it's because they really turned on to us, or because they thought, oh, bloody hell, we better find something to do. <laughs> Very distracting, and I think that's why we did the set in 17 minutes. We, we kept up in the tempo, you see. and he was pumping iron along with it. You know, eventually the poor son passed out. It was an interesting gig, though. Wasn't it? First time we've had them carried out in white jackets. Too right. Oh, we, we enjoyed ourselves. Yeah. Here's another. Here's another very prescient song. I like that word. It's my word of the evening, prescient. Do you think I should explain what it means? Familiar. It means I was a clever son at the time. <laughs> <laughs> the vibes, I picked up the vibes. This is a song about yuppies before anybody had heard of them. I realised uh, realized what Thatcher was going to do. He was going to turn these beasts loose on us. And I thought I'd write a song about them. You know, the people who put money before everything else. And uh, uh, this, this is the... Way ahead of his time. If we bought this out in 1982, 1981, it would have been absolutely perfect, wouldn't it? You could have given away a free cellular phone with every copy. That's right. <laughs> He's got it. It's absolutely right. Yummy <laughs>
Schreiber in him. That's finished. We throw it for the evening. Uh, we were in Holland. We were doing we were doing a tour with a band called Living Blues, who were trying to sort of uh, do a focus on us. But they're pretty bloody awful. It was a pretty bloody awful tour. Um, and uh, we went we went to fairground, didn't we? What had happened? They cut the electricity off or something. I can't remember what it was. But the, the, the fairground quotes entrepreneur and the baby's lecky bill. That's right. <laughs> so we were trying to run 400 <clears throat> megawatts of PA off a 16 volt car battery. <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't work. Now I was confused because I, you know, I didn't understand why these things don't work. So the gig was cancelled because we left. We were there. These we cloggies, these mini, these cloggets. <laughs> The ones that are going to the European Cup final were in embryo form and they practised on us. <laughs> and they were throwing all sorts of things at the car. And we were going, peace brothers, peace, peace. <laughs> we used to talk that way in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> Anything to stop anybody throwing at you. <laughs> 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 and the mistake is what called Mrs. Oberg, and she was amazing because she had about 3,000 cats and she fed them fresh fish every day that she And she claimed that she was psychic. She was a ballet dancer for many years. And she claimed she was psychic. And she told, she told both our fortunes. And it was, it was a very eerie, it was one of those moments where you really felt frightened and you thought, my God, this is, this is serious stuff. And absolutely none of it has come true. <laughs> Not a bloody thing. I was going to have a hit and become famous. And, and Graham, Graham, Graham was going, what was, what was it she said about you were going to become? I was going to make a fortune in America. That's right. He's going to have been there. <laughs> Money's not too late, is it? There's time. Uh, there's time. I doubt it. <laughs> I'm going to have it in America. You're going to make a fortune here. That's what it is. No. Anyway, she, <laughs> she was wrong. She was dead wrong. Very nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. The fish she gave us was pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> this is the stuff the cats didn't want. That's right. <laughs> So we wrote this song about being laid back in Schreveningen. Which was the same. It was the sex capital of the, of the Dutch Riviera, wasn't it? But we didn't see any of that. No, because the, the fish. <laughs> we couldn't get out of the house because of the fish. Lazy day. Think about it. Well, we got nothing to do but strong guitars and games. And the wonderful whirling world and how it plays on lazy days. Sunny skies, roar a river boat to where the dragon flies. See the summer light and loving in your eyes. And sunny skies. Give your mind to find your freedom, give your eyes to what they see, give your music to the rising moon, but give your heart to me. Yes, it's true. There's nothing on this day we have to do. I think I'll take my time and make it love to you. Oh, yes, it's true. La la la. La 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 Give your mind to find your freedom. Give your eyes to what they see. Give your music to the rising moon, but give your heart to me. Yes, it's true. There's nothing on this day we have to do. I think I'll take my time and make it love to you. Oh, yes, it's true. Yes, it's true.
non title track of the album that we're talking about here. And this is from Corn Seed. Won an award that year for the, the worst album sleeve of 1974. Oh, God, it was bloody awful. One of the reasons, one of the reasons we didn't get anywhere with all this stuff, it's not just, it was 10 years out of its time, but we hated London and all the suits at the record company and all the crap they tried to put us through. And the sleeve was a classic example, wasn't it? Oh, tats. Yeah. We've, we've got a completely new sleeve coming up. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Completely new sleeve. Same yeah. tots. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it yet, but it's different. It's different. And it's based on this next song, you see. Now, the fascinating thing about this next song is I wrote this lyric when I was... <clears throat> Um, <laughs> I was 32, and uh, next birthday I'm 50, and this is uncomfortably close to the knuckle, this one, <laughs> as the years change. You know. No, I don't mean that really. I'm just trying to fill out time, because this is going to be like the set we did in the festival. <laughs>
It's that normally when you use this sort of equipment, you have monitors in front of you, which, which give you back what you... And um, I haven't got it, so I'm hearing the same sound you're hearing going out from there. So if I do this, I hear my own voice a lot better, and I know whether I'm in pitch. I thought I'd just pass the, you know, one of the wrinkles of the performing life onto you there, so you know where it all comes from, where it's going to, and where it's at, maybe. <laughs>
scrapbook of promises and dreams. A coat made of leather with no thread in the seams. Old pair of boots that let it rain. I'm back on the road again. Rusty old strings on a broken guitar. Dusty old seats in a dirty old bar. Alcohol on my brain. Cause I'm back on the road again. I got friends who let me stay. Talk all night, drink the dawn away. Bed down on the floor. Sleep all day, then it's time to play. Oh, one thing I know from a million nights. Life is a woman, cheats and she smiles. Nothing to give you the pain. I'm back on the road again, road. We made a record some time ago We did so many a hundred or so We got one at home somewhere But now it won't play time for it away Oh, I think I know from a million miles Life is a woman, she's a she's nice Not in a year of pain I'm back on the road again, I say Back on the road again, baby Back on the road again Uh, that was our penultimate song, and uh, we'd now like to do the ultimate. For those of you who uh, would like to buy these songs this evening, you can't. Uh, they were supposed to be coming out round about now, but they were all being done in Germany because Germans are so reliable. The bastards went on strike. <laughs> Started in 1943, actually. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. oh, yes, mate. Yes, in the shelters there, literally, then, I'll tell you. Yeah. We, we went to Bremen, which I suppose served us right, to sing for the town council, which was a fair swap, and it was a <laughs> I was very protective of my guitar. I didn't give a son about these other, but he knew that without mine, we were in big trouble. And uh, I got one guy with a red app, the dispatcher, it was called, that's right. Ringway, and said, uh, could I load this on personally into a hole because it's, it's my world? <coughs> and um, he said, yeah, fine. I said, what do I do at the other end? He said, you get hold of the guy in the same red out. And I thought, it's my way to send a red out. But anyway, <laughs> I got hold of the guy in the red out at the other end. <coughs> no chance. I think this fellow was at Wembley in 66. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, well, that's you know, against the regulations. It, it, yeah, it's all I've got. And, I, and he said, and I thought, well, you know, I'm not going to win here. I mean, we've gone into overtime and he's reached 43 decibels, no value. You know, the technical term is, I mean, wasn't it? For half interceded, presciently on my behalf. <laughs> the next thing I see, half being marked off the bloody tarmac That's right. by a security guard with an Israeli Utsi up his backside. I mentioned the war, you see. <laughs> What he said was he's three none, 1418, 1939, 45, and 1966. Three none in the series, you'll be in big trouble, that kid. I'll be laughing, when safety comes off that, you'll be in big trouble. Oh, great times, eh? Great times. Oh, Boston. Boston, oh, super. Okay. Anyway, any road up? Um, he's got an album and I've got three out there, well down here, so if you want to see us afterwards, I mean, we don't mind you coming and having a, a chat with us, you know, we do like to meet our fans, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. I'll see yours is here tonight. Yeah. So, um, that's about all we've got to say really. We hope you've enjoyed this. Thank God for that, we worked hard enough. I've lost half a stone up here in Shire. It's really strange to go back to doing what we did all those many, many years ago. We were on the old great whistle test, you know, weren't we? Oh, with Whispering Bob Harris. And Del Shannon. We met Del Shannon. He's the shortest man I ever shared a lift with. <laughs> he wore this huge Stetson and I couldn't see Del Shannon because the Stetson came up to him. <laughs> <laughs> Del 
Josh Allen was a dwarf. <laughs> you know. Now when we sing, as I walk along, I wonder if I ever get anywhere a little late. He was on our side. He was, he was on, on our side. side. He was like, oh, I've told him, I've told him. I've told him. I've told him. Right, what should we do this then? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, we've enjoyed ourselves. We've enjoyed ourselves. Thank you to Richard for letting us use this song. Thank you, Richard, for letting me coming away from Killing Us Down. All the way from Killing. If you've enjoyed yourself half as much as I have, um, I don't know what you've been doing. <laughs> if you've enjoyed yourself twice as much as me, good. <laughs> is to say that I'm resigning from today. I've had my fill of growing older, standing still. This color chafes and now I know it always will. This is to say that I'm resigning from today. You'll fill my chair. There'll be a younger man somewhere who'll gladly smile and say he'll try it for a while until he finds he's just a card inside a file you'll fill my chair there's always a younger man somewhere oh I've accrued well won't you send it to my wife she'll need the cash to help her start a brand new life she'll find the man it seems that loneliness is rife in the lane it's all rain. I'll send you a picture postcard back to you, a girl of peach. She'll be the people I can teach you, pin it up, and always think it's out of reach. I'll send to you a picture postcard back to you. I hope you see, I've done the only thing for me, don't think me wrong. But life's a novel, not a song, it needs a plan. I hope you see I've done the only thing for me. All oh, I've grown. Well, won't you send it to my wife? She'll need the cash to help her start a brand new life. She'll find the man. It seems that loneliness is rife in middle age. It's all great.
Well, 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 this is the last song we know that we did. Um, and we wrote this in very strange circumstances because we were, <laughs> we were driving home from a gig and uh, for some unknown reason we started to compose this song in the car about, I don't know, half past one in the morning. And we, we got it written, basically, just between each other. Gray was driving and I was in the passenger seat. And uh, we thought we'd better get this down on paper quick, so we pulled into a lay-by on the A5 or somewhere. A4 and one, just yes. on Oxford. What's it doing? We've been working with Pamir, yes, that's probably what started the song. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And um, so I, I was jotting down the words, and Graham was writing the music. And uh, suddenly on, on, on his window, there was a. Oh, no, mind me, there was a. There was a yeah, you have to remember that this is a November morning, around two o'clock. And there's two adult males steaming up the windows. <laughs> and there's this. And unbeknownst to us, this police car pulled in behind us. And I wound down the window and I said, Yes, I'm a sir. <laughs> and he said, Excuse me, sir, would you, <clears throat> would you mind explaining to me what uh, you and this gentleman are doing in the lay by at two o'clock uh, in the morning? <laughs> and uh, as I say, I looked around the car, I could see the windows are steamed up. And I said, um, You won't believe me, I'm a sir. <laughs> Try, try me, <laughs> sir, try me. <laughs> well, actually, uh, we, we're writing a song. <laughs> You're writing a song, sir. Very good. Harry! Harry, isn't you one, Harry? <laughs> so this song was first performed at five past ten. <laughs> by torchlight <laughs> to two very sceptical constables who were so thrilled when we finished they wouldn't let us get back on the road till we'd given them an autographed picture each. <laughs> this, is true. this is true. I'm an otter in the water swimming around. Hey down, bubble down, swimming around. I'm an otter in the water swimming around. Hey down, bubble down, swimming around. That's the chorus, why don't you learn it and join me? <laughs> ah. Hey down, bubble down, sunning around. I'm lying on the riverbank, sunning around. Hey down, bubble down, sunning around. I'm not in the water, swimming around. Hey down, bubble down, swimming around. I'm not in the water, swimming around. Hey down, bubble down, swimming around. Me in the water rat playing around. Hey down, bubble down, playing around. Me in the water rat playing around. Hey down, bubble down, playing around. I'm an otter in the water, swimming around. Hey down, bubble down, swimming around. I'm an otter in the water, swimming around. Hey down, bubble down, swimming around. I hear the hounds playing and running around. Hey down, bubble down, running around. I hear the hounds playing and running around. Hey down, bubble down, running around. I'm an otter in the water, swimming around. Hey down, bubble down, swimming around. I'm an otter in the water, swimming around.